An out of this world adventure, NASA has announced the astronauts heading to the moon next year. Our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, had the chance to sit down with that crew. He joins us from Houston. Gio, where I'm guessing Fly Me to the Moon must be playing in the background. Good morning. <laughs> At least it is in my head, Deb. Good morning to you. Listen, it's a mission more than half a century in the making, and this is how they will get there, the Orion spacecraft. Now we are meeting the four crew members. They are ready to make history yet again. This morning, that historic announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis II crew. <laughs> Four astronauts chosen to travel around the moon. Commander Reed Weissman, pilot Victor Glover, and mission specialist Christina Cook and Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen sitting down with us just moments after. We're going to have the first woman and the first person of color to go around the moon. What's your message to folks watching this? We recognize how important it is that every single person who has a contribution to make is going to be able to make that contribution, and our missions will be more successful as a result. School children in the audience cheering them on. We saw those children who were out there looking at you guys. It was great to see the school kids in the audience. Uh, it was great to see our own kids really fired up and happy. The biggest thing that resonates with me is, you know, carrying this message of hope and inspiration to the world. The crew will spend 10 days going around the moon late next year, helping NASA pinpoint exactly where the next moon crew should land in 2025. These astronauts will go farther into space than any other humans have before, and some of them are already record holders. Christina Cook had the single longest space flight for any woman, 328 days. I always say my biggest hope for any record is that it's broken as soon as possible because that means we're continuing to push the boundaries, we're continuing to go as a team. I hope that we can also be uh, a, a, an inspiration for cooperation and peace because the world sure needs as much of that as it can these days. And these astronauts all say, this isn't about them. This is about all of humanity moving forward. And they are gonna be spending the next year and a half working with this training capsule right here behind me here at NASA. This is a once in a lifetime trip, guys, no doubt about it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Gia, thanks so much. And you were saying that, you see your beat too. I, I spent years down there at NASA. Mm -hmm. How cool is this? That is. How cool. All right.